Hi, I'm William. It's uh, my first take at making videos and I wanted to share a little something that I shared with a friend on the other day. It was a comment about, you know, the significance or the relationship that the creator has with his creations and how could we see that relationship, you know, just in our day to day life or is that relationship really able have the ability to be seen in our day to day life? And uh, I just said that, you know, we had a superior designer that every facet of our body was and is designed by the creator for a particular you know, aspect of the relationships that he has with us. So I told him to look at the digestive system. And one part of the digestive system is the stomach. Uh, we know the stomach is basically where a lot of the food that we eat is digested as far as so I told him look at meat uh kosher meat at that but and I said you know to say you eat you know a particular meat source of chicken or beef or what you know whatever what it, what it may be and that it enters into the stomach and it's digested by the stomach the stomach has certain enzymes pepsin and pepsin and it works with the in conjunction with hydrochloric acid so we know that the hydrochloric acid and pepsin activates and works on the breakdown of certain large protein molecules. And those protein molecules are mainly meat molecules and they digest it and makes it for the body can a a able to use it. So I also said, you know, the stomach is also made of flesh and, and it also has, you know, hydrochloric acid in it and it also has pepsin, but the stomach doesn't dissolve itself because of the membrane or the lining that protects the stomach and and also that the stomach cells are one of the fastest replicating cells in the body so the stomach protects itself via a mucous membrane and this mucous membrane protects the stomach from devouring itself and also just say if any parts of the stomach is compromised those cells replicate extremely fast to protect the stomach and and that design shows you that that's as a creator but also things could get out of balance and once things sometimes get out of balance you have ulcers or you have certain uh, breaches in the mucous membrane and these causes allows the hydrochloric acid to basically affect the lining of the stomach itself and causes pain and ulcers and, and so forth and this pain and this ulcers comes about by sometimes about what you're putting into the stomach, you know, via your diet, as far as consuming food. And then the ulcers also are related to your thought process or the worry process that you have. And this shows an imbalance. And once an imbalance happens, pain occurs. And, 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 and there's certain ways to remedy this pain. And, and you can remedy the pain via medication if it's uh to ooze the to, to to take away that 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 pain and, and anguish or you could alleviate or take away from that worry or that mental anguish that's causing the ulcers and, and so forth i said but in that that relationship that once was there solidified that relationship that was a gave the stomach its ability to do its job the imbalance happened thus causing pain and thus causing anguish. So as soon as you consume a meat product or anything, you, you, you don't get the full digestive effect of it because of the imbalance that occurred. But if you get things back in homeostatic and balanced, then the stomach works properly. That relationship works properly. And I was saying like, we all have a particular relationship with our shin and there has to be a particular balance within that relationship like say for instance, if I take in sin from doing something that that separates me from her sin, then that imbalance is gonna be be seen. But if we do if we keep the mitzvot and we keep our balance with the shim and, and everything's worked properly. But once we get out of balance, that's when issues arise. And, and and how to alleviate those issues is staying connected with what is kosher, staying connected with you know, just doing his brother do prayer, reading, you know, just indulging and learning to to the extent that we're 
you are capable of, of or the or picking up something that makes that elevates your spirit or elevates your soul and and that's how you continue that connection because you don't want to never sever the connection because once the connection is severed there's pain and things that happens just like in the physical if it's not a, a balance then there's pain results from that balance uh, this is my first video I hope it be for a blessing for you. Shalom.